Peter ZX back with another video and today uh, the main uh, you can see two bays on the screen first of all is a race driver D125CS and in the corner you can see a Blitz Unicorno 100 RSF now these two bays have been set here uh, talking about the Blitz Unicorno it's been set because these both are related and this bay is the evolution of this bay Blitz is the evolution of Ray the main focus of this video is going to be Ray Unicorno because this is a new Beyblade in my collection. So, uh, like 2 or 3 days ago there was a tournament in Delhi, uh, IBA tournament, Metal Fight Bay, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, Metal Fight Limited format. And um, in that, uh, I bought this Beyblade from a, a seller in Delhi named Rohan. So yeah, you can buy some base for him, he sells some really good stuff at, um, like, yeah, interesting prices. So yeah. Now, this bay I got from him uh, and uh, about the tournament the footage will be up soon like we are not really able to manage all the like all the clips that we recorded because of different devices and all that so yeah uh, I'll be loading the uh, the footage soon because even editing and all that and then management and then compilation everything takes time so yeah maximum by a week I promise I'll do it then uh, you'll get to know like who placed first, who placed second and uh, what the combos were used and uh, who literally stole the trophy from the tournament and all that. So yeah, you'll get to know everything about that. First, let's just come to the bay. So I'm having all the parts assembled and let's just move towards the face bolt first. So I am having the face bolt in my hands right here and let's just describe it so uh, you can see a purple base it's pretty and uh, on that you can see a yellow tattooed unicorn unicorn like a uh, focus yeah so it's like a horse and the uh, horse has a horn on its head or forehead any anything you can see the eye right there and the face of the horse and this is like main or something I don't know so yeah that's about the face bolt nothing much to describe and then the clear wheel is unicorno or a striker it's a hazard bullet that's why striker so in on this I can see three unicorn horns I believe these are horns only and they're towards the right direction so um, I'm getting a feeling that whenever it spins it hits also like this if this comes in contact it hits and uh, you can also see that these sides have been worn down a little as well because it has been used it's not a mint condition Beyblade so yeah and uh, I believe that it's a pretty good wheel for attack because if it comes in contact then yeah it'll do some damage so a uh, nice teal blue and green in color really nice I like it and then keeping the uh, clear wheel aside now we have the metal wheel on the metal wheel uh, the name is Ray and uh, it's another attack type metal wheel which I believe is really very competitive because it's like it's good for attack shit so yeah it's good for attack um, but it's really underrated because yeah people don't really like that like using this way anyways it also resembles the storm wheel and uh, if you see the wheel has the sides have been entirely worn down and that's because although the bay is clean it has been used heavily and which is the reason why I'm pretty disappointed because I really uh, wished for and hoped for a good condition and uh, because this bay has such good attack with this condition I don't really think that it will be good for attack anymore still I can't really do much about it so I'll just use it the bay like I'm sorry the metal wheel is decently weighted and yeah it's very good for attack uh, like a new one might, might be don't really know about this one so, yeah. now coming towards the spin track it is D125 defense 125 um, this track is like just a normal uh, 125 height track and with this circle like thingy around it and uh, theoretically it's supposed to provide extra defense 
and which is why I don't really know why this track came with an attack type way like Ray Striker and Ray Striker was one of the main ways in the season as well Metal Monsters anyways uh, this guy like uh, I believe that it has pretty good stamina as well because this ring would be providing it great stamina and I don't really know why the camera isn't focusing FOCUS So yeah, I don't really care now. Uh, that's about it. It's a pretty basic track. People use it for attack, defense, and stamina. All of them. Then this is another weird part. This is a code short performance tip. CS, as it's called. And uh, this is like let me let me explain it. It's a little bit unique. Uh, you you all have seen the Unite driver from Burst Storm. Storm's Spriggan or Storm's Prison, whatever you want to call it, that bay has it. It's just like that. So, basically, this part, this blue colored part, which uh, matches the color of the entire plastic part, it's actually a sharp part, plastic, made up of plastic. And then this red coating uh, outside it is pure rubber. Now, this part isn't really sh uh, sharp, but yeah. It's supposed to provide some defensive movements and uh, like when the bay is moving and then when this rubber part comes in contact with the stadium floor then it goes in an attack pattern so oops you can call it a balance type performance tip when it the when the rubber wears down then it provides really like it becomes a pure defense type performance tip and many people use it as well so yeah that's weird because Again, we are not having a pure attack type of home instead with the pure attack type bay. So anyways, that's it with the parts. And let's just assemble the bay. So I'm having my stadium right here and we're using my bed sheet as a background. I'm so sorry guys, but the lighting is perfect right here. And uh, it's test launch time. Uh, so. Uh, now, because CS is a really a certain performance step, I'll just be showing different uh, like patterns of launching it. So first of all, uh, like you, you need to be really skilled. You need to know how to launch it. If you want to launch it in a defensive motion, then uh, you need to launch it straight. And if you want to launch it in an attack motion, then you need to like bank it, tilt the launcher, or you need to launch it towards the side of the stadium so that it goes into an attack motion. First of all, let me just show you how to launch it in defensive motion. Or like, I'll make a sep I'll make a separate video about launch demonstrations. Let's just simply launch it in defense mode. So like, I want to show you how the movement is. So you can see that the movement is quite stable. Now I guess that's enough time for attack. So now I'll, I'll just, uh, first of all, I'll be banking the launcher. Pick two and go. You can see that the bank failed, but yeah, it's in an attackive pattern right now. And now to do the side. You can see that, like, yeah, it's moving in a perfect attack type pattern. Now, there's another trade about the CS, which is that, um, if you give it a really very hard launch then and if the CS is not worn down or if it's Hasbro then uh, it's like wo whatever you do like however you launch it with whatever position it has to go literally crazy about the stadium so now I'm going to show you that only with my favorite launcher uh, like <laughs> I'm the most comfortable with this one it's a Hasbro launcher with uh, Takaya Tommy Winder long winder and uh, yeah, I'm gonna launch it with full power. So you wanna go? You see that it is having some out of control movements. No matter what position you launch it at, literally went out of the stadium. <laughs> Once again. See? <laughs> it literally goes crazy around the stadium. Even better than the rubber flat. So, yep. So guys, this was my video for Ray Striker D125CS. If you like the video, then give it a thumbs up and support my channel, guys. Subscribe. I need more subscribers. 
and uh, that's it and i'll see you all in my next video and uh, i won't really uh, i'm aren't really promising that the next video would be the tournament footage because i don't really know when i'll be getting the, the footage so anyways thank you thank you all for watching and i'll be there in the next video zx out